A perspective can make or break your photo. It just depends on your subject. It can involve various techniques, including the use of a wide angle lens, tilt shift lenses, or just how you position the camera. You want to create a sense of depth in your photography, a sense of drama and a sense of scale in your image. Using the perspective technique in your photography can help spark the viewer's imagination and tell the story of the image a bit more than just a basic photograph. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm Chris and today I want to talk to you about something that's very important to photography called perspective. Now I just wanted to make a quick little video on this just to go ahead and show you what this is because I feel like that with photography it is kind of something that isn't used as often as it should be. This will make your photo look a lot more interesting. So let me go ahead and show you some examples. So here I have a little piece of candy that I'm looking at down on a piece of foam core board. And you notice how it's just kind of boring and basically it's just sitting there and I don't have any real depth to it. I have some depth, but not a lot. And it's just not really doing anything for me. Now let's go ahead and look at this next image. Okay, so when you look at this image, you notice right away that you have a background and a foreground that has a lot more detail because the camera is now at the level of the subject and now you can see that it also is more of a three-dimensional image rather than a two-dimensional image because of the depth that you're giving your subject. This is because you changed your perspective. So hopefully that gives you an idea of basically what you can do with just a piece of chocolate and changing the way you take your pictures with perspective. Now let me go ahead and show you another thing that you can do and I'm just showing you things that you can just do in your home and it's just an idea and it's just basically a way to give you ideas for your real photography so that when you're out in the field you can actually use these techniques to get better photos. So here I have just a basic fan and of course you know it's just gonna look like that when you just take a picture of it but if you look at it at a different angle say from the bottom up you get a lot different of a perspective even if you were just to do like that a lot different of a perspective let me go ahead and show you what it looks like with a picture <music> you're doing this kind of photography or using this technique you want to look for any kind of lines that might make your picture look more interesting when you're looking at your subject so for instance see this piece of glass I have next to me well basically this has leading lines and I can make it look pretty cool if I just take the picture at a corner right there and it can basically give it a cool image and make it look really neat and just kind of three-dimensional. You want to make your images look different than the norm and take it into new context and basically use your strategies a little bit more in your mind to create this story, okay? Now, sometimes you might have to lay on the ground like this just to get a different perspective, to get a different view of your subject. And as a photographer, you might find yourself doing this quite a bit so you can get that really good shot. But if you have to, you have to. Even if it's just getting on the ground and getting a little bit dirty, it's sometimes well worth it. Now, wasn't that fun? Now, I hope you learned something great from this that you are now a perspective genius and you can take photos from many different perspectives. Let's go ahead and view some more.
Okay guys, well this was just a short little video to go ahead and give you an idea how this works and to give you an idea of how you can use this in your everyday photography. Especially if you guys are new into photography, I'd say that perspective is a huge thing to take advantage of if you can. Try to look for different angles, different, you know, different views of your subject to see if you can get it or them, if it's a person, to look differently than how they normally would just by taking a simple snapshot. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you're all doing well. Please take care. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel to get notified when new videos get posted. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider checking out some of the other videos on the links at the end of this video.